it's Mike from the Run Testers. Um, I thought I'd do a little video on this thing here. So this is the Polar H9. Uh, this is Polar's latest um, heart rate monitor chest strap. Um, so I think I could speak for the, the entire team where we kind of, when we want that accuracy in terms of heart rate monitoring for running, tend to go for a chest strap. Um, and I've been using this um, for the last couple of months, kind of testing with a bunch of watches. Uh, and I thought I'd share my thoughts on what it's like basically to run with and any problems or any things I've noticed. Um, so yeah, here's my kind of summary of what it's like to run with the Polar H9. Okay, so I thought I'd start with kind of talking about how the Polar H9 compares to the H10 and whether there's that much of a difference in between the two. So I've got them both here. Um, I've also got the H7, which I used to use as well. So that's the uh, H10. Uh, that is the H9. So as you can see, they're quite similar in terms of look. Um, the key differences from a kind of design perspective are the bands. So what you're getting with the uh, H10 is is this kind of is their pro strap. So what it has is these kind of silicon kind of spots on here. Now the idea is that it's a little bit more comfortable to wear. Now with the H9 you're getting the strap that was on the Polar H7. So it's a slightly kind of harder feeling material. Um, the clasp is slightly different as well. So you've got the kind of hook as opposed to the kind of dropping like that um, with the H10. Um, now the idea is that the, the Pro strap is supposed to be more comfortable. Now I don't really have a problem running with a H9 and the strap from a comfort point of view. For running outside, running indoors, kind of different um durations and speeds and it was kind of fine i kind of prefer the more kind of hugging kind of tighter fit that's not going to be for everyone um i don't think there's a massive difference but i think if you want more something a little bit more comfortable the h10 is what you want um but for me the h9 was absolutely fine to run with and yeah no kind of biggies on that front um the only other couple of things i don't think are massive are going to be massive for people is with the H10 you can uh, store a workout on which to be honest is fine you know I had my I, you know had my watches I was, it was paired to uh, so that's absolutely fine and then you can kind of simultaneously pair uh, two bluetooth devices uh, at once with the H10 which you can't do with the H9 to be honest you know that wasn't something I really needed I mean all I needed was something that would uh, pair with what I was using pair with the app pair with a watch and from that perspective, it was fine. So in terms of the differences, there's minor things, but ultimately you're getting the same tech um, to monitor your heart rate and a couple little software things and the strap. And it it might not be a big deal for most people. It wasn't a big deal for me. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of key differences, key differences between the H10 and the H9. I'm now going to get into a little bit about what they were like, uh, what the H9 was like to run with. Okay, so what's it like to run with? So I'm not going to dwell too much in kind of the accuracy point of view because this has obviously got the ECG style sensor like Polar's other chest straps. So it's measuring the electric electrical activity from uh, your heartbeat as opposed to optical sensors, which is using light to kind of detect the changes in blood volume. And uh, it's not really regarded as accurate. This is kind of seen as the most accurate for kind of for sports tracking. Um, and for that front it was kind of really reliable and I didn't really have a problem on that front now in terms of running as I said I didn't really feel it was uncomfortable I, I, I liked that kind of tighter kind of fit and I didn't you know it didn't irritate at any point during runs um, I think the key thing for me and I guess for a lot of runners is will it pair easily with your watch um, so I tested with a bunch I tested with um, the Garmin Phoenix 6 I also tested with the Garmin Viva Active 4 and I always also tested with the Polar Grit X which I'm using at the moment and but it was pretty kind of instant there was no problem so I was really happy with that in fact actually I found the H9 more reliable in terms of connecting um, in comparison to previous Polar chest straps um, so it's kind of one that I've stuck with um, so yeah from a running point of view solid really I found it fine to wear uh, on short and longer runs. Um, and yeah, that pairing thing, which is a big deal for me. Um, 
that was absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my um, running thoughts and kind of using the H9 over a couple of months. Okay, so in summary, um, is the Polar H9 good for running? So what I'd say in my couple of months of using it is, yeah, it's been pretty solid. I found it comfortable. Um, I say having no irritation on that and irritations or anything like that wearing it. Um, connections and stuff have been good uh, in terms of watches and apps. Um, you've got great battery life. It uses the same kind of coin cell uh, battery that you use for kind of the Polar H10 and the H7, the kind of thing you use in watches. So you're not going to have to replace it for months and months. Um, and yeah, it's been pretty much solid. I would totally recommend it for runners not looking to not spend too much money. In terms of comparing it to what else is out there, like the H10 and the H9 is about £20 difference, and I don't think you're getting massive amounts um, to warrant going for that over the H9. To be honest, you're still it's still going to be great for running. Um, you've got stuff like the MyZone MZ3, which is a little bit more expensive, um, does a little bit more in terms of software and the information um, but I think if you use something like Polar B if you're not using pairing it with your watch or an app that's a really nice experience um, and yeah it's you're not getting maybe some of the more advanced running metrics you get for things like the Garmin HIM run but then that is more expensive so if you don't really care about having that additional information and you just want that reliable heart rate data um, the Polar H9 will give you that um, and from a running perspective I think it kind of ticks all the key boxes. Um, so yeah, that is my kind of take on the Polar H9. Uh, I say I've been running with it for a few months. Um, I think I'm going to stick with it now um, and actually not go back to the H10. Um, and this is going to be my choice for uh, for running. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed that quick video. Um, any questions about uh, what I've spoken about? Obviously, leave in the comments. As always, like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you for the next video.